there's something wrong here. The morning star shouldn't be there. Hmm. Just as I thought. Two and a half degrees off. For today it's not what I think it is. I better check the calendar. the calendar to. Maybe it was clumsy car. Uh, hey, uh, clumsy. Morning, sir. I hate to bother you, clumsy, but, uh, did I loan you my calendar? Uh, I, I don't think so. Uh, let me check. I, I, don't, I don't see it down there. Could you use an eel? Hmm. Maybe it was a fat broad. Bet that's who it was. It, 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 it's me, uh, Thor. What are you doing, waking me up at this hour? Well, I, 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 I was, well, I was wondering if you could do me a favor, and it... yeah, yeah, I can do you a favor. <laughs> How'd you like all your teeth knocked down your throat? I, well, no thanks. Um, see ya. Maybe it was the cute chick. Uh, sweetie. Honey lips. Hi, Thor. Oh, what a lovely way to wake up. What can I do for you? Uh, what can you do for me? Uh, oh, yeah. A calendar. <laughs> right. Uh, did I leave my calendar with you by any chance? <laughs> Nobody leaves anything here by chance. Right. Golly, that's right, isn't it? Sorry to bother you. Bye. Bye, Thor. Curls. It's got to be curls. Curls, wake up. Uh, what? Uh, could I trouble you for a minute? Well, what time is it, anyway? I haven't the foggiest. Well, what do you want? I was just wondering if I left my calendar here. What do you want with a calendar? I need to know what day it is. You invented the sucker. You don't even have one. But I loaned it to someone, and I need to borrow it back to find out why the morning star is off two and a half degrees. This has got to be a bad dream. I'm sorry to bother you. I'll see you later. Make it a lot later. Hey, B.C., have you seen my... Nope. Peter, that's who it was, of course. Uh, how's the calendar working? Calendar? Yeah, the one I gave you last year. I don't know. What day is it? Uh, according to my calculations, it should be the 24th. You can stop whispering. I'm awake now. <laughs> Planned obsolescence. Will you get out of here? For you, my love. You sweet thing, you. Wow. 
Wiley? Wiley? What is it? What are you whispering for? Never mind. I've just had the most unbelievable experience. At Zooks, that makes two of us. I'm serious, Wiley. It was incredible. I gave something to somebody. Now, that is incredible. Did you get it notarized? Oh, I can't explain it, Wiley. It was so, so... Well, hey, is that on your cheek, a reward? That's it. It was rewarding. I never knew giving could be so rewarding. You know, that is a new side of you, Peter. Before, it was always take, take, take. But now, all of a sudden, it's... And you know what's most beautiful of all? There's, There's a, a buck to, to be, be made, made here. here. So what's wrong with making an honest buck? It ain't honest. It's a con. Don't call it a con, Ace. A ploy, maybe. A trick. Not even a trick, really. It's a revelation. Think about it. How many of our friends are aware that giving is better than getting? And there you are. We'll be doing him a favor. What's that? This? It's uh, just a slab. I write poems on it. A slab? That's it. It's perfect. You and I are out digging for clams, and we unearth a slab. Unearth a... El Slabo. An ancient stone from another age, just jam-packed full of hieroglyphics. Hieroglyphics, man. A slab full of scribblings and scratchings that, through diligence and perseverance, We've managed to decipher. Ah, this whole thing is stupid. I want out. We'll be rich. I'm back in. Uh, what do you want me to do? Well, first, we create a legend. Legend? You know, a sort of a fairy tale about giving that has been perpetuated through the ages. Perpetuated? Carried on. Wait. You mean we create our own fable, then convince them it's a legend they have to carry on? Exactly. Now, here's the plan. We create the myth, write it on the slab, and then tonight at the campfire, you spring it on them. With your command of the language, charisma, and eloquence, we can't miss. Now, stop that. Okay, uh, what's the main thrust of this legend that we're going to create here? Main thrust. The more you give, the richer you feel. And the more you feel, the richer we get. Beautiful. I'm cutting you in as a full partner. It's getting pretty late. Hey, we'll go to my cave. I have a slab there. Here's a thought for the legend. How about a fabled character that comes around once a year giving everybody gifts? He should have sanitary claws, you know, so as not to soil the gifts. Yeah, that's good. We'll call him Santa for short. That's a nice ring to it. I like it. Then to fulfill the legend, Everybody gives gifts in his name to, to feel the joy of giving. That's beautiful. And we sell him the gifts and make a bundle. I love it. What kind of gifts do we sell them? Well, there's rocks. You mean diamonds? No, no, rocks, like oh, you stones. Mean the, oh, real granite rocks. Sure. Well, how about dirt? No, that would be too crass. How about trees? Did you ever try to gift wrap a tree? Oh, how about we make the tree a symbol? Hey, that's fantastic. A tree, a tree with a rock under it. We can sell them trees and rocks. And you know what I love about this scam? What's that? These poor clowns have to buy gifts and give them in the name of some character that doesn't even exist. And every year, that. That's right, every year. <laughs> every year, we sell X amount of gifts to the masses. <laughs> we'll call it, call it Xmas. <laughs> oh. Oh. Wow. I want you to know I had nothing to do with that. Uh, what do you want me to write on this slab? Oh, just a bunch of gibberish. Anything you like, really. We'll pretend we deciphered it. Say, uh, how do you spell scorbridge? What's scorbridge? Well, it's a gibberish word, like you said. Now, cut that out. Okay. Now, we need a mythical beast or something for the legend. I got it. How about a green pig for Santa? A green pig? What's wrong with a green pig? Well, that's for a doctor to decide. What? <laughs> Joke. <laughs> oh, cute. Let's see now. I got it. How about, now picture this. We got this real green... No. 
How about pink? That's good. That's good. We got this real pink humanoid Human. person with a big green nose and tusks with a bowler. What do you think? Well, I think I'm going to be sick. Oh, wait, wait, <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Now, now, how about this? You think that's funny? Watch this. Hey. Jolly old elf. There's not much on his feet, though. How, how about a wheel? Can't you see him tooling around on a wheel, tossing gifts thither and yon? Yeah, no, no, not really. Not with the snow and all. Uh. Hey, how about a toboggan? Gosh, did you see that? I saw it. I saw it. Get hold of yourself, Pete. How's this? Never mind. You know, we've created a very special being here. He's not a buffoon and not a god. And he should rank with his believers, you know, somewhere between man and angel. Believable enough to reject and unbelievable enough to accept. I'm going to pretend I didn't hear that. Santa must be presented in a manner deserving of star status. You're absolutely right. We'll give him a limo with steel-belted radials. No need to go that far. Something simple and classy. Something befitting the season. Like a sleigh. Ah, pulled through the heavens by giant Clydesdales with gossamer wings. Not bad. How about reindeer? Ah, reindeer are beautiful, but they can't fly. Did you ever see one? I saw a drawing of one on a cave wall once. Well, then how do you know they can't fly? Well, I don't. But, ah, what the heck. If they buy the fat dude in the red suit, they gotta go for the flying reindeer. Reindeer it is. The myth is complete. The Santa is born. What does he look like? Well, according to the sacred tablet here, he's dressed all in red, from his toes to his head, with a beard of pure white that can light up the night, and a droll little smile, and a little round belly that shakes when he laughs, like a bowl full of jelly. <laughs> and that, dear friends, is the legend of Xmas as Peter and I found and deciphered it. Uh, but wait, what's this? There's something else here. It is the fervent wish of your forefathers that you uphold the foregoing myth that future generations may know and feel the blessed spirit of giving. Gee, it's all so Beautiful. Well, uh... uh... I move that we declare the day after tomorrow, December the 26th, the grandest holiday of them all. I second the motion. All in favor, say aye. 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 That makes it unanimous. Okay, gang, the 26th it is. In anticipation of your receptive attitude, Wiley and I have taken the liberty of lightening your burdens by providing gifts and trees which will be available for purchase the first thing in the morning. And remember, all gifts will be labeled from Santa, in keeping with the unselfish spirit of giving. Are there any questions? Then let's go dream of sugar plums. By golly, those guys are all right in my book. Mine, too. I, I never knew they were translators. Me neither. What language was that, anyway? I don't know. Sounded like a lot of gibberish to me. Gibberish? That's what it was. 
A horse load of gibberish. I thought it was beautiful. Beautiful. That's what it was. Beautiful. Gosh. Xmas. What a lovely term. Uh, I can't help it, Peter. I feel cheap. Cheap? Did you see the joy in their faces, the sparkle in their eyes? Oh, sure, we'll make a bundle. Sure, it's a big con, but think of the happiness and the excitement we've given them. Gee, you know, I never thought of it like that. <sighs> What's wrong? Oh, uh, nothing, just a little chill. What do you got, sleigh belts in your shorts? <laughs> no. It's getting late. Let's get to work. We got trees to cut, rocks to wrap. Say, what if these people expect to select special gifts for one another? That's just tough. They're going to get rocks. You're all hard. We've been duped. That's what we've been. Imagine me, of all people, giving gifts to men? Especially under the guise of a fat guy in a red suit. So, what's wrong with fat guys? What do you think, Maud? Would you like to exchange gifts this year? What for, Jake? I've got you and you've got me. <clears throat> yes, let's exchange gifts. Noisy little suckers, aren't they? <laughs> Merry Christmas, Thor. This could be the most significant moment of our lives. Huh. <sighs> The giving of gifts. For girls, I could buy a book on ESP. And, 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 and for Wiley, I could buy him a new... set up here. How's it going? I'm on the last train. Now she blows. Oh, no. How are we doing, partner? Fine. No thanks to you. The last train. Well, it's almost dawn. We better grab a little shut eye. How do you feel? I'm bushed. Oh, what? Sorry, old buddy, I couldn't resist. See you at dawn. Sleep well, my friend. Merry Christmas, clumsy. Gosh, a, a snorkel outfit. Santa? <laughs> Jackpot. Hi, partner. Be serious, you twit. You're already late. I bet you haven't even worked on your sales pitch. Hey, a bit testy today, aren't you? Oh, well, not really. It's just that... Yowie! It's not a myth! It's not a myth at all! Santa is real! Oh, oh, dig the nifty snorkel I got! It was hanging on this little bitty tree! He's right! Look! Look what I got! <laughs> <clears throat> Sorry, guys. I guess the newness isn't worn off yet. Speaking of newness, how do you like the neat pink booties? 
Not to mention my beautiful new necklace. Or my nifty tiddly set. By the way, Peter, what did you get? Oh, oh you, you mean, what did I get? Well, I got a pair of uh, beautiful red mittens. How about you, Wiley? Me? Oh, uh, I, uh... I got a red sock. Let's all go to my cave and celebrate. It's a day early, but, uh, what the heck? Yeah, let's oh, go! Yeah, come on, let's go! Oh, come on, are you ready? All right! Come on, let's go! Yeah. Hey, where did, uh, they get... I, I can't imagine. Well, this has been another one of your fine ideas. I don't understand it. We created a myth, and it came... Peter? Hi, Wiley. What brings you here? A limp. Will you cut that out? I went back to my cave. What for? I'm not sure. But there was this little tree with these little candles. What's wrong? There's a tree here, too. Hey, let me see that. A stump sock. Hey, it's a, it's a stump sock. Here, hold these. Where did you get these? They were on my tree. A stump sock. I feel warm all over. I'm glad, Wiley. You keep those, and I'll keep the stump sock, OK? OK. You know. I always wanted a pair of red, red mittens. The old rascal really crossed us up, didn't he? Rascal? Santa. Well, let's say he straightened us out. We all make mistakes. <laughs> we sure do. See you in the morning, partner. We'll make some more. Good night, Wiley. Peter? Yes, Wiley? Uh... <clears throat> Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you, Wiley. Merry Christmas.